Hello. Okay. So we've covered crochet. We've done Kanzashi flowers. Uh, next, pom pom. Uh, we're going to show you exactly how to do pom-poms and how ridiculously easy they are. However you want to use them. Okay. Oh, right, Julie, let's get pom-pom making. Shall we? Yeah, let's. Excellent. Let's. So we've got uh, what all using? sorts of sizes. So we've got baby, bubba, 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 oh, tiny weeny, and then it just goes up in, in sizes and then it goes like that. Okay, and so the, daddy the, 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 the daddy of the pom-poms. Daddy of the pom-poms. Superb. As simple as this. So you've got, this is actually two pieces and we're going to take them apart soon. Okay. But you'll see that you have these clips here, okay? Yeah. And they're on both sides. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull them open like that. Okay. And we're going to pull them open like that. So what we're aiming for is that you have two left arms and two right arms. Excellent. Okay, it's yeah. as simple as that. And in the middle, you've got the join. Okay, so uh -huh. what we are going to do is, what we what the plan is, is that we're going to wrap the yarn around this half moon shape. Okay. Okay, and you don't yeah. have to worry about it in any particular way. So it doesn't matter how much yarn, really. I suppose well, the more the you more... the more you load onto it, the fluffier yeah. the ball will be. So if you don't if you don't put enough yarn, you've got a skinny a little pom pom. Skinny little pom pom. That's don't right. Want that. And literally. <laughs> Also, a great way of using up your odd yes. bits of yarn. Yeah. Really good way of doing it. And all I'm doing, literally, is getting my yarn end, holding it down with my thumb, okay? And I'm going to just... I've engaged it there so that it's, it holds it in. And I'm literally... Let's just put the yarn on the floor. And I'm this going to... This is when to, it's really good if you've got a cat. Oh, it would it? Drive, I have I have six cats and it would drive have them. You? Yeah, I am oh. the mad cat lady. I love them. They're my, oh my babies. Oh my word! I bet they love you. Oh, they're brilliant. I bet and they I've, love you anyway. Well, but I've, the fact that... <laughs> yeah, I've trained them to the word up because they have a habit of lying in doorways and I can't walk over them. I can't bunny hop over them. Yeah, no. So I'm like. Up. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise... And then they move out the way. <laughs> otherwise, that could be really <laughs> yeah, nasty, couldn't it? Could it could be painful. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I've trained them to the word up. So, literally, all I'm doing is I'm winding around. Yeah. Right. It's dead easy. It's really as simple as that. Now, so I'm just winding it round. Because you've got different sizes, yeah. you could use these for, for anything, oh, couldn't loads. you? Oh, loads. And with these bubble ones, with the tiny ones, you could use embroidery thread. Yeah. You could yeah. use really thin stuff. And, oh, it would look so dainty yeah. and so pretty. And I think of ribbons, because there's loads of beautiful oh, ribbons yeah. you could use. And you Gorgeous. could use all your scrap ribbons as well, couldn't oh, you? Oh, this is a great way of using up your bits of yarn and your scrap ribbons yeah. and all sorts. And jute, I love, um, like, you know, your, oh, yeah, your like jute material. Prep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and string and stuff. I bet string, I wonder what that would look like. I don't know, we should give it a go. We should give it a go. So literally all I'm going to do is just clip the end. And again, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't need to stress about it. There you and go. And when you clip and you it fold back it. in, yeah. that keeps everything... Just it's... keeps it together neatly. Perfect. Don't worry about the fact that that's going to unravel a little bit because we're yeah. going to just tuck it out. We're going to cut it soon anyway. Marvellous. Let me just grab the yarn. <laughs> Manage. Yeah, have got, got it. The end? Have I got the end? Yeah, here we go. I got one end, love. Right, so I'm going to do the identical thing. Do you want to do that? No. No, you're happy you for me it. to do it. Yeah. Okay, so Almost. we're going to do yeah. exactly the same thing. I'm going to engage the short end, okay, and I'm going to bring it in and over so it kind of holds it in place. Okay. And then I'm literally going to wrap. Try not to do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you do, just unravel it and. Um, reapply it. I do like these because once upon a day, like obviously when you were kids, I, it used to be cardboard, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And when you got into actually having to cut it out, you'd shopped into cardboard. It were really annoying. <laughs> and also because you had to get your ball all through yeah, the centre of it. Yeah, it was it hard, just wasn't yeah. it? And yeah. then you could only do one or two balls from it. But yeah. with this, is you could just go on and yeah. on and on and on. And you could, I mean, you could decorate a Christmas tree yeah. with it. You could yeah. make garlands with it. I yeah. mean, there's so I much you can seen, do. I have seen a Christmas tree made out of pom-poms. Oh, Did you? Oh, I can't. Yeah, it was a charity one. And I think it was, oh, I can't remember. Uh, but it was a charity one. And because obviously they feel so good, you know, I think it were people with sight issues. So obviously because... Oh, so it's got the, the texture the sensory, and the feel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, they do feel fabulous. Um, think about the ways... Like, we've, we've put one on a little cushion there, which looks lovely. But I've used them, you know, for home decor, and I've yep. put lights in them. And that looks oh, really cool. It looks really cool. 
Really nice. OK, so right. squidged it up. Then we cut ourselves a length. And I've got a bit of a Blue Peter moment here because I mm. cut it, it previously. So you cut yourself a decent <laughs> length. One you did okay, earlier. Here's one I did earlier. And um, literally all you're going to do next is... Can you see those were the two leaves yes. I mentioned earlier? There's a groove in it. It would be better to show you that way. There's a groove in there, look. Can you uh, see yeah. that groove? Yeah. Right. All I'm doing is literally taking my scissors, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to cut. And your your scissors will hit that groove. Yeah. Yeah. So you just follow that groove around, right? Doesn't it make it easy? Makes it really easy. See, these are airs for using with kids. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, really nice for using with children. Flip and over and you're going to do exactly the same thing, OK? You're literally you going to go the, along the groove. The most cost-effective yarn as well. Oh, you know, yeah, if, you, if you're doing things for... Yarn. And I love it. I've seen um, when they've been sewn together and made into, like, um, rugs and things. Oh, I bet that's nice. Pom-pom mm, -pom rugs. You'd want to take your socks off, wouldn't you, and just yeah, run your just feet through. just it. Again, the cats would love that. Oh, they really wouldn't last five <laughs> minutes in my house. No, they wouldn't. Right, so we've got our extra yarn, Super. OK? And we're going to put it into that groove. Literally, we're just going to sit it in the groove and we're going to pull it through to the other side. Excellent. OK? And pull it tight. Ooh. Yeah. So and this then, keeps all them little fibres together, doesn't it? So we're going to tie a knot, OK? And we're going to pull it into the centre. OK. And at some point, I mean, you, you've got to pull it tight because otherwise it'll all fall apart. Yeah. But you don't want to pull it too tight that you snap your yarn. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Then I, I do three knots. I've made the mistake of do, doing one and two and it's just not enough and it falls apart. Yeah. So I flip it over and I do another knot. Yeah. OK? And you know Flip they're it pretty over. sturdy as well, yeah. aren't they? And I do a lot, and that's my last knot. I haven't got a particularly long bit of string here. You probably want a longer bit of string so that you've got something to yeah. hold, uh, yank it onto and hold it onto and sew it on. And yeah. um, if you can see, we've got a length here. I've got a long bit of string. Yeah. And that's quite useful because it means you've got all that working area to yes. tie it onto whatever yeah. you need to and tie it onto. And obviously, if you've got a project in mind, you'll yeah, you'll, you'll obviously know what you cut want that. to do. Yeah. So do you remember we flipped those open before with those tabs? We're going to do exactly the same. Marvelous. You're going to flip that side, then you're going to turn it over. And you're going to flip that side, OK? Cool. So you're opening up the left arm and the right arms again, Yeah. OK? And then you're literally going to grab hold of the two grey creamy central section and you're going to pull it apart. Super. OK, and what you've got is... One side has the pin on it, yep. the other one has the hole for the pin. Yep. So you literally put it back together again like that oh, yeah. and you're ready to rock and roll. Yay! That's it. Now, you get hold of your lovely pom-pom and you kind of fluff, fluff it up a little bit. Bob's your own right, nose. and then you give it a little snippy poos here and a little bit of snip there yeah. just to make it all even. <laughs> That's the bit of string. OK, so you give it a little bit of a haircut and there you've got a lovely pom-pom. In pom. seconds. Done. S seconds. Dead easy. They are dead easy. Dead easy. And I must admit, because I made some for my shoes and they lasted a full party night. Did they? Yes, dancing and everything to Brilliant. the prodigy. So I know <laughs> these they, they are last. pretty strong. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I actually had to cut them off. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I've had such a good time. Good, me too. Really, really chuffed. Um, thank you to Julie, obviously, for joining us at our Craft Academy. Um, I'm going to run you through step by step how to make a pom pom dead easy uh, first of all you open the the second left and the set and the two sorry uh, the two left and the two right ar um, arms of the pom pom maker you wrap your yarn around the left arms uh, when you've got enough of the yarn on there tuck the left arm back into place and then repeat for the right side arms uh, once it's done you've tucked them both into place you then cut a piece of yarn about eight inches to ten inches long get a pair of scissors cut along the central groove you then slot the yarn that's the the extra bit that you've cut into the groove and tie into two knots, maybe three, just in case. Open the pom-pom maker, so it's that cream part of the pom-pom maker. You open that up and there is your pom-pom. Give it a little shake, give it a little trim and you've got a perfect pom-pom. How exciting is that? So, 
we have learnt in this hour. Uh, first of all, we did the crochet. We didn't, then did those flowers, <laughs> the Kandashi flowers. Yay, Kandashi, oh, one day. Uh, so we learned crochet. Um, all the different types of, of hooks, all the different yarns that we could, that we could do. Um, how to tie in the loose ends to make it nice and neat. And of course, making granny squares. We learned how to do with them. Fabulous Kanzashi flowers, ridiculously easy. We then learned how to do our beautiful pom-poms. Step-by-step -step guide on making the perfect pom-pom. Um, everything. We've ticked all the boxes in an hour. Julie, thank you ever so much. Thank Indeed, you. I've really thank enjoyed it. That's been, been really my first academy it. and I've loved it. I've loved it too. Good, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you for Julie. having me. Um, everybody, uh, what you want to do now is look out for more craft academies. We do try and teach you as much as we can. Obviously, as you know, we get the best tutors. Um, so watch out for them. Make sure you can learn something brand new. There's always so much to learn um, within the craft industry. So enjoy it. Have fun and we'll see you again. Happy crafting.